So I've decided on how we're going to build a small deck with some randomness in it. What I did is in the card class, I created, well, I modified the public constructor. Well, I built a public constructor that takes no arguments and uses a random object. And the way I did the random is the same way I did it in the deck class. So it's static final and you got to import random from the utils. All I did is this dot suit. Uh, I'm going to get the next int and this next int gives me anything between zero and suit letters dot length. So we're going to go up to suit letters. So the length is four. So that rand, let me get all this out the way. All right. Ooh, and that one. Okay. So it'll go between zero in this case, four. It does not include four, so it's actually going to give me a zero, one, two, or three, which is perfect because that's the valid suit letters. Rank's a little bit different. Rank, you got to be careful because you're not allowed to use the zero position right here. So we can compensate by doing that. However, the length is 14, maybe. Anyways, whatever the length is, um, normally it gives you length minus one, but because I'm adding one, I could actually go past the end. So what that means is I have to subtract one. And another way to think about this, there's four valid suits, and what I have highlighted is the number, will be the number four. So random.nextInt has four possible values, zero, one, two, and three. What I'm doing next, rank letters has an extra value, an extra index I don't want to use. So there's actually one more element in rank letters than, uh, than the number of elements I want to use. So there's actually 14 in the length, but I only want 13 of them. That's why I subtracted one. Uh, but then the bad one is at position zero. So that's why I shifted here to compensate. All right, so now we could build a card that has a random suit and rank. We may get repeats, but that's okay. Back into deck. I don't really like this constructor here. So what I'm gonna do is edit this. So this already builds an array of size n. I'm gonna do the standard for loop here. And we're gonna go cards i equals new card just like that. Now this constructor here is the one we just wrote, takes no arguments and generates a random card. And so now our deck can be a specified length. So instead of just building a huge deck, let's build a deck of an interesting length. Uh, let's say five is probably good enough. So it's going to be random. The first one you see is going to be a random right there. Um, and then all right, so let's let's do a little labeling here. Sound original. You should see that there's a problem on the screen already. Okay, F6, oh, I wish I could spell. Boom, there we go, so original. All right, there is randomness to it. And there should be at least one repeat showing up and I see that there's two there's one repeat here. So obviously our shuffle's not correct. It is giving us some randomness, obviously it's changing the order, but there's a problem. So we got some repeats. Uh, if I could 
Maybe try 10, run that. We should see repeats, QC, 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 QC. So we got too many queens of clubs. Somebody's cheating if this is a real card game. Uh, how do we fix this? All right, so it's giving us some extra, uh, some duplicates. And of course, it's throwing away cards as well. Uh, good news is it's not changing the size, of the size of the deck. So it's not a complete disaster. So it's the swap. So whenever you swap, let's think about what's actually happening here. I don't know if there's any good. No, no good. All right. I'm going to make a new video or I'm going to draw what's actually happening here because it's going to be much easier to see it visually than me talk about what's happening in the code and then we'll come back and fix the code.